Hello and welcome to the Mike Less Farmhand Mike YouTube channel, bringing you some of the biggest and best variety and definitely the most versatile farming content on social media today. You can find me on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Farmhand Mike. When you're running combine and have that view over there, that's just pretty awesome. That's almost as awesome as watching that Mike Less guy on YouTube. That is one good looking tractor and grain cart. Hey everyone, in today's video I am bringing you a soybean harvest video from the southeastern part of the state of Missouri. I am down here in what they consider the Boot Hill of Missouri, or I'm just close to it, just outside of the town of Charleston, with a farm that is harvesting their soybeans with their John Deere 9770 STS combine with tracks on it and a MacDon Flex Draper head. I filmed this video in late September of 2021. Also in this video, you'll see the farm's John Deere 8420 tractor point a Brent 880 grain cart. Now the soybean crop looks pretty good here. You're going to see how these rows are planted here in a little bit. But what got me down here was this farm just purchased a new versatile high-speed Fury 30-foot wide high-speed disc from G&J Egg out of Oak Ridge, Missouri. So I come down here with the dealer to get this set. They are pulling the disc with their new Holland T8. 380 tractor which was pulling it quite well and we were getting a disc set up and we got everything going good and just across the field they were over here harvesting soybeans so i popped the drone up in the air to bring you this great video now i've never seen rows quite planted like this i understand what they did i didn't get to ask the farmer what the reasoning was and everything like that but it's a pretty neat design in the field if you look at it from up top and i do have some good drone shots of that now this area right here does grow a lot of soybeans, a lot of corn, some winter wheat, and there's also some double crop beans grown in this area. Now these beans here are not double crop, but later on in the video, you will see some spots of some greener soybeans in the background. Those would be double crop, and what I mean by double crop, their season is just right here. They can grow a crop of winter wheat, take the wheat off, and then no-till drill some soybeans into that wheat stubble and get a second crop or double crop of soybeans. So two crops in one season. The field I'm in right now is just a few miles south of the Illinois state line in the very southern part of Illinois, just across from the Mississippi River. Now we are just at the tip of what is considered the Delta, so not very far from here, you start getting into some cotton farming and some rice farming as well. In the background where you see those semis going down the interstate, that is Interstate 57, and you see that patch of green in the back, that is a field of double crop soybeans. So those, since they were planted later right after the wheat, those will probably be harvested sometime in November. Now the longer day soybeans or regular season soybeans as you'd call them like you see right here get much taller and they yield better but with the double crop soybeans they have just the right season here to make it work. Now where I live up in Ohio there are some guys that do some double crop soybeans but our season is kind of borderline. Our wheat comes off somewhere around the 4th of July and just depending what kind of season we have we can get soybeans double crops that might yield around 25, 30 bushel an acre. Some years they do really good but most years they don't do that good. And as you can see here, it was just a beautiful late September evening here in the state of Missouri. Now, as far as I can remember, this is the first John Deere combine that I have had on my YouTube channel with this style of tracks on it. Now, the John Deere 9770 combine is powered with a Deere PowerTech 9 liter diesel engine that is also 549 cubic inches in size. That is a six cylinder diesel engine rated at 360 horsepower with a power boost of 385 horsepower. The 9770 has a 300 bushel grain tank that is capable of unloading at 3.3 bushels per second. The 9770 has a 250 gallon fuel tank and weighs in somewhere between 32 and 33,000 pounds depending how it's equipped. This one may be a bit heavier with the tracks and that's not including the header. And in the background there is a better look at that field of double crop soybeans I'm talking about. They're still pretty green. They still got pods to fill. As you can see they don't get as tall. Some spots are starting to turn here and these will most likely be harvested somewhere in early November. Now I remember driving through here several years ago during wheat harvest and they was actually burning off the wheat stubble after the field was combined before they no-till drilled or planted the soybeans into that wheat field.
to wrap up this video. I hope everyone enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this video, go down there and hit that like button. If you didn't like this video, well, there's that dislike button too. Anyways, feel free to comment below. And if you are new to my YouTube channel, please go down there and hit that subscribe button and check back often. Still a lot of good farming content coming to my channel from last summer and last fall. And I'm going to do my best to get these videos wrapped up and edited here before planting season as that is right around the corner. Anyways, if you want to see more of what I'm doing and filming, you can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Farmhand Mike. As always, thanks for watching and supporting my social media.